What is up guys and welcome to today's video where I'll be starting a new series, a new FIFA 17 manager career mode with Sunderland. Now we're going to look at the board expectation first, so domestic success is low. Actually you know what, I'm going to have a look at this when I actually get into the calendar and the career mode. So I'm, I can choose this, so after I choose this I'll probably be back. Okay so bam, this is the... The, this is the avatar I have right now. This is who I made, Sam Hodgson. The combination of Big Sam and Roy. Let's see how we can go nationality England as well. I don't think that really matters because you can basically choose any club. Let's see, half length, six minutes. I guess that's decent. Currency will go for dollars. Um, download the latest squads, obviously. I don't think so. Nah, Sunderland isn't in any European competition. And I think that is pretty good. Alright, so this is where everything begins. We get a preseason tournament invite. Should I advance? You know what? I'm gonna advance. Uh, should I? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna advance because, you know, just in case it gives me extra bit of money which I could possibly use to buy some more very decent players. Let's see who we can get. So, this is the current squad we have here. Um, this is the Sunderland default squad. We've got Defo, Yanujai, blah blah blah. We know who there is in the squad so i'm just going to change the formation and then probably inquire for a few plays and then i'll probably be back and show you who i've got so these are the plays that i have um tried to inquire tried to buy tried to loan so first player i've got michelle antonio very fast player which i like because fifth 17 pace is a pretty good thing tongo dumbia not many people knows about this guy basically he's got decent pace dribbling shooting passing very strong as well so very well-rounded player we've got bailey um bailey or however you want to say it he's jamaican he's pretty fast winger exactly who we need we've got martin odegaard a lot of people knows about this guy you know what he can do Asensio. now this is the one that i'm worried about a little bit because i think his I think he's pretty high rated and then he could be a little bit expensive as well but we've also got Marcus Rashford as well I'm probably going to get him for loan as well 6 foot 2 very tall fast exactly what you need so what we're going to have a look at now is that we're going to have a look at the board expectation and see what we have to do so let's have a look first of all we've got the youth development um, first of all, it's low, so basically I have to sign at least two players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. So blah blah blah, you know what happens and then I just have to play them a lot, I guess. So I just have to sign a youth player, um, sign one crucial first team player assigned to the forward position. Okay, interesting. So, I think Antonio would be pretty good choice, I think because not many people's gonna to try to come to Sunderland. And then we've also got this one, finish the season with a profit margin of $110 million. Now, I don't know how this kind of works, but it says it is high priority, so I guess I kind of gotta to try to work on that. Also, we got domestic success. We got Premier League finish mid table. I guess that is kind of possible. Um, the Emirates FA Cup. Let's try to reach the round the 16 stage. Not very hard as well. No continental success. Um, we're currently not in Europe, so that's probably why. But let's have a look at the transfer budget as well. We've got 67 million dollars to spend with 111 thousand k. No, 100 111 thousand. Um dollars to spend on the stuff so we've got players sold as well so this the things that kind of worked out so pretty interesting stuff so i'll be back after maybe they come back to me after my office so we've got back from few of the clubs first club is manchester united um they want 17.5 million for rashford but what I can do is that I can loan him, so that should be pretty solved. We got Michel Antonio for 8.5 million. In my opinion, I think that would make a pretty good deal. Let's have a look at the next one. Um, for Leon Bailey, they want 12 million, which is a little bit pricey, but is it going to be worth it? Let's try to find out because I do kind of like him. Like his stats looks pretty decent, so I might try to get him as well. Odegaard for 3.5 million. That's basically nothing. Let's try to get him as well. So first one, we're going to try to offer for. Um, Odegaard, so they want 3.5, so what if I give you 2.5, how's, how's that mate, how's that, oh actually I just realized that his salary is expensive, my gosh, next one, Leon Bailey, um, he can't be too bad as well, 12 million, you know what, um, I, I can buy for 7 million, you know what, Let, let's start small, let's go for 7 million first, because um, he's not very proven easy. Someone like Antonio only wants eight, 
0.5 million so I, can, I can offer him maybe about 6 million hopefully they accept the 6 million offer because it's not a bad offer is it and then we've got the next one who is Rashford who I'm going to try to loan so guys we have got back from Toulouse and Real Madrid once again so for Tonga Dumbia they just want 4.1 million dollars um, which is very possible because we've got a very big budget as well also Real Madrid they want 44 million dollars for Asensio which is a little bit pricey so I probably won't go after Asensio now but I could definitely make an offer for Dumbia for 4.1 they want 4.1 so I'm gonna go for 3 million maybe 3 million that hope that, that that's a decent offer maybe maybe I'll go for 2.5 million because why not let's see if they accept hopefully they do because he's a very decent player as well and then let's see how they get back with us actually in fact we've got a match against Frankfurt and now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to simulate those kind of you know European international cup matches hopefully none of them gets injured because that would be pretty bad I just have a feeling that someone's going to get injured thankfully we won as well Yanagai and Indog scoring Alright guys, so we have got back from West Ham, Genk and Real Madrid. So first of all, West Ham have accepted the offer for Antonio, which is amazing, for $6 million. What a bargain he is. He wants $110 million. Um, no, not $110 million. I mean $110,000, um, which is, I guess it's not too bad. I guess he can be like important first team player. And then we're going to move on to another player who's going to be from Genk and they haven't accepted our transfer offer which is kind of disappointing i'm gonna increase it to 8.5 million and then see if they accept that offer so the next player is going to be also real madrid which is gonna be odegaard and they have also accepted our offer of 2.5 million for martin odegaard 50 million um, and i'm keep saying million um fifty thousand dollar wage which is a little bit pricey but i think he should be pretty good he's just gonna be squad rotation he's probably not gonna play he's probably not gonna be like the starting player because he's just he's just so young and probably not very high rated as well and then um are we gonna get back from two let who have rejected our offer of 2.5 i'm just going to increase it to three and see if they accept the offer from there okay so now we have a fixture of european international cup once again against norwich city which of course i'm going to simulate once again because it's like it's a pointless game like it does give you 8.5 million if you do win it completely but no problem because we do win oh but in dog gets injured that is very unfortunate because he was going to be a pretty big part of my team hopefully he's not out for long though he's out for four okay that that's nothing okay thank goodness he's only out for four days um am i gonna get from every yes we get back from martin odegaard who has accepted our offer which i will happily happily accept martin odegaard welcome to the squad mate Oh my gosh, my manager rating went down. Why? Why? I'm, I'm winning my matches, man. So we've also got back from Michel Antonio and um, Genk who has accepted our offer for Bailey for 8.5 million. Just gonna make him a squad rotation player because he's from a, s a small club and I'm not really sure how he's gonna play. I'm not sure if he's really good or not. Meanwhile, me okay, so we gotta adjust our budget. Michel Antonio, very good player as well. I'm, I'm very um, happy of this signing as well. Okay, so we've got back from Toulouse, Toulouse or however you want to say it, and they still haven't accepted our offer for 3 million. Wow, like, so I'm gonna offer 3.5 million, like, that's getting really close to like the barrier, I guess, which is pretty funny, but hopefully th they're probably gonna accept now, aren't they? Also, we've got a fixture with Aston Villa with once again a European International Cup. We've been doing very well simulating these matches. Very good stuff there. Obviously, I'm not going to simulate in like the other cup matches. Every other matches, I'm probably not going to simulate. Once again, we win. What a good stuff with the boys here. Amazing, amazing stuff. And we get some notification as well. We got a transfer offer from John Oshar, Oshare, um, for 550. You know what? I'm going to accept because, you know, I'm not sure how he means to the club actually because obviously I'm not a supporter of the club so sorry if I'm like selling a player that is very important or very I guess meaningful to the team I guess um but for now I do want some kind of um profit that's probably that's gonna be pretty interesting as well 
Okay, so now we have a match day against Augsburg for uh, another European International Cup match. I'm not going to keep trying to say it, but we have got a match against them. Let's see how this goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, actually we did win with Kershkov and Anish Chebe scoring for the team. Very decent stuff. That's That just means more money to us. Very good stuff. Um, we do get 6 notification, which is a lot. Player sold. John O'Shea has been gone. Tulesse still hasn't accepted our offer. Um, Bailey doesn't really want to come to our club. So what I what I have concluded is that I'm not going to try to buy Bailey because I've already got the... I forgot the name, but there's another left mid that we have. So I'm not going to go for Bailey. I'm going to try to go for Dumbia though because he's a very good player. I don't know why the club is keep rejecting my offer. That's kind of pissing me off. But now I have inquired for Callum Wilson and also um, Bakambu from VRL. So hopefully they get back to me pretty quick so I can try to make an offer for them. So for Bakambu, they want $45 million. The question is, is it going to be worth it? Because we already do have Jeremy that for a very, very solid striker there. So is Bakambu going to be worth it? Because I think Callum Wilson is going to be pretty solid as well. We'll just compare the price and then see which one is probably the better option. So Tulese has finally, finally accepted our offer. So finally we can go into the contract and then negotiate some stuff which he should probably accept. Important for a sim player, like come on mate, you, you really gotta try to join the club. He's only 72 rated which is kind of disappointing because he was way more higher rated before but still he's a pretty solid player and I think he's gonna be pretty important to the club anyway. Okay, so right now we are going to be getting into the game. We're going to play the game versus Frankfurt, the European International Cup final. But just before we do that, we're just going to have a look at some of the most shocking transfers ever. Look at that. Kane goes to Manchester United for $60 million. How unrealistic can you be? Jamie Vardy goes to Chelsea um, for $26 million. Ruffier goes to Napoli. I guess that could kind of work even though I don't know why Napoli would get him because they've already got Pepe Reina but without further ado let's get right into this versus um Frankfurt so this is the team we have here um Defoe, Antonio, Kazri with Rodwell, Kershkov and Ndong with Van Anhold, Julevoji, Denaya, Manquillo and Manole in goals let's get right into this right so let's do this let's see what we can do with this, the, the plays we have here Hopefully we can win this, get a lot of coins, I mean some money, oh actually we threw it already, who's that, oh he saved it, what a save, oh my gosh, they're so close. Kazi whips it in, oh actually the header was pretty closer than I thought, there's a really long range out for a header, Jack Rodwell gets to it, another corner whipped into Julevoji, a free header, oh my goodness he's absolutely spooned it. Bang one. Oh my gosh! What a goal! What a goal that is! That is an amazing strike by Undong, or however you pronounce his name. But one thing I know, he's amazing at long shots. Look at this, you know, just playing it back, just playing it cool. Had some space, had a shot, goes right into, well, not completely right into the top right corner, but very, very close to the top bins. Amazing stuff. We won the up. Well. Oh, that's a yellow for Ndong. Pretty crap challenge by me, to be honest. Alright, so that is the half time, guys. We are winning 1 0 so far. We haven't even let them have a shot. We got more possession as well. In general, we're playing very good football, you know. Um, two of the players in the midfield got a um, yellow, which is kind of unfortunate, but let's get into the second half and let's continue this good form. So, actually, now. I am going to be making some substitution just to change things a little bit up. So the first player I'm going to be taking out is Jack Rodwell because he just hasn't been doing anything this game. I'm going to let Martin Odegaard, Odegaard has a debut for his club. I'm also going to take out Kazri and then put it Yanajai and then also take out Antonio and put Fabio Barini in and hopefully he can change up some things and then we can play some better football. It's a poor cross, not well. What the heck? Oh, that is such an AIDS goal. Like, like really? They literally have, I think that's their first shot as well. And their goal is like that. Oh, I should have just left it. I mean, I don't know what number 27 was doing there. He just got in the way of everything. I don't know what happened. But the score is currently now 1 also. Nice. Play him. Finish that. 
finish that. Oh, there we go. That is 2 1, boys. Yanij out puts it in for us to make it 2 1. He scores as well. He does the puck, the dab. I don't know why I did that. Puts it into the open goal. You know, good football here. As you can see here, some great passing play. Um, puts him in nicely. The goalkeeper does save it, but Yanijai, he's in the good position just to slot the ball into the back of the net. And it looks like the cup win is right in front of us. Oh, he's still got it. Still on it. Still on it. Jeremy Defoe's on it. He fell down, and it's a penalty. That is probably one of the worst penalty calls I've ever seen in FIFA. But you know what? I'll happily take it. How is that a penalty? He's barely done anything. Like, he just stood up straight away as well. And then he just got a yellow or something. I don't know. But important thing is that we do have a penalty. So let's see who we're going to make it take. Who should take it? Um, You know what? I think Jeremy Defoe should. Let's just put it right into the top right corner just over there. Wonderful penalty and the score is still one. Great stuff. Um so we now now we've definitely definitely won this club. Welcome to eight million dollars. Great profit to the team as well. So it's gonna it's really gonna help us try to develop some of the I guess the objective I guess. But anyways guys this this is the full time of this game. We have won 3 1 with Indong's amazing goal, Yanijai's tap in and the AIDS penalty but who cares let's have a look at the rating as well to see how they placed it defo got 8.5 rating let's see who got the assist koshkov got one koshkov got um one assist and he's like the only one who got an assist undong do have the man of the match which is pretty decent he did score an amazing amazing goal so we're just going to advance and then let's move on so now as you can see here we do have a, another additional transfer budget of 3.8 million dollars which is pretty decent european international cup okay so that's about yeah th that's nothing so let's just advance and then let's see if we can try to you know sign any players so it looks like we got back from tongo dumbia who has accepted our um amazing offer so i would definitely accept him to the squad for four million dollars overpriced maybe is he a good player definitely so what we'll be doing now is that we're going to put on offer for Callum Wilson. Now they do want, um, they did say they want 50 million for him, but I am going to be offering him 12 million. So hopefully he accepts. And after that, we have a nice budget of 44 million dollars where we can spend, or we can just save up just because. So I can, um, I guess, increase the club budget. Okay, so we do have got back from them and then they said that it is just simply not enough so i'm just going to increase the price to 13 million and then hopefully from here he hope he hopefully upsets i mean the club ho hopefully accepts wow i can't speak english for crap but i'm just going to advance like this um we got a transfer offer for what more which i will happily sell because i'm probably not going to use him anyway um let's keep moving on into oh my gosh my rating has gone down to 78 which is kind of questionable because i have just won the bloody cup mate um they have accepted the offer he wants 70 70 um thousand which i will kindly give him. i'm gonna be i'm gonna be giving him crucial first team player because i just think that he's gonna be the crucial player and by the way that's like the objective that i have to do anyway so i have i'm like kind of semi forced to buy a striker even though i probably don't need one. Oh, they got an offer for fabio burini interesting am i going to be needing burini because i'm not too completely sure because if i do sell him it's gonna give me some decent profit but I don't really have enough wingers, do I? So it's probably not going to be a clever choice selling him. But if they do give me um, 10 million, I think I will probably happily sell Fabio Barini. All right, so we do have got back from Callum Wilson and our rating has gone down once again to 77. But once I accept this, because I have assigned him as a crucial, crucial player, my rating should go up because yep exactly it goes back up to 80 mate great work but anyways guys this will be it for the first episode of the sunderland career mode this is a little bit of a short one because it's just the first episode and i also want to hear the opinion about you who i should probably sell or who i should probably buy i'm just going to show you the budget here as well we've got 47 million dollars which is pretty decent so um if you guys have any suggestions of who i should probably buy then let me know down in the comment section below and if you have enjoyed the video please hit the like button if you're new around here subscribe and goodbye